Would you give me my arm, please? <laughs> Is it this one? <laughs> welcome to IA White City, and welcome to our review of Logan Lucky. We're gonna talk about the general gist of the movie, we're gonna talk about what worked, what didn't work, and then I'm gonna give a score. So let's start with what is Logan Lucky about? It's basically about two brothers, Channing Tatum and Adam Driver, who are going to try to pull off a heist by stealing money from this big NASCAR racetrack in North Carolina. So these guys don't know anything about robbing and they don't know anything about breaking into a vault and so they get Daniel Craig's Joe Bang uh, to find out how to break into this thing. There's a bunch of other people in the movie, Katie Holmes, Hilary Swank, uh, Seth MacFarlane, Sebastian Stan, Catherine Waterston, there are tons of people, and I probably even forgot some, that are big names, A-list names, but the movie doesn't really capitalize on it, so let's start with what worked with this movie. The cast is great, and luckily Channing Tatum and Adam Driver really hold it down. Uh, they both deliver great performances. Adam Driver is continually impressing me, uh, and he kills it here. Channing Tatum is the more kind of straight man, does fine. Um, Joe Bang, Daniel Craig, some people will think is hysterical, some people will think is obnoxious, uh, so that's kind of on the fence for your style, but they basically showed off everything that is funny about him in the trailers. Almost all of his funny moments are already shown. So if you're going in thinking this is going to be a comedy, non-stop, laugh, riot, it's not going to be that. This movie also works if you're going in expecting a heist movie. So Steven Soderbergh directed Oceans 11, 12, and 13. So this feels a little formulaic in that it's very similar beats. They have to get their team together. Each one has a specialty. Things go sideways. They have to adjust. They have to improvise. There's even those moments at the end of the movie where they look back and they're like, well, here's how we did that. And it shows you kind of what was happening parallel to what our characters saw. It all feels a little formulaic, but if you like heist movies like that, this movie might do it for you. So what didn't work? Like I said, the leads were great. Everyone else felt underutilized. For some reason, Katie Holmes is in this. For some reason, Katherine Watterson is in this. Sebastian Stan, Seth MacFarlane, they each have like a scene or two. They're very underused and even sometimes distracting. That these arcs could have been cut, those characters could have been cut and the movie would have been better off for it because this movie is long and it drags and the climax, the big heist happens and there's still like an entire act left that is resolving it and you know what happened. And so it ends with a whimper as opposed to a bang. And some characters are likely gonna get on your nerves. Uh, so if Joe Bang doesn't do it, Seth MacFarlane's character is super annoying. Even Sebastian Stan's character feels weird and kind of obnoxious. Um, so it's, it's hard to root for some of these characters that they could have just cut completely. So overall, this movie is somewhat disappointing considering the A-list talent that they have here. I wasn't super thrilled. This is definitely not a movie you need to see in theaters. So definitely wait. Even if it looked interesting, take your time. This is not a big screen experience you need to see. So for me, I'm gonna go straight down the middle and give this movie three out of five. If you're not already following me on Twitter or Instagram, hit up IAYTD. Uh, I post my full written reviews. I do snapshot reviews. So I do like an image, just the pluses and minuses. Uh, so if you don't like watching videos or you don't always have time to watch videos, all my reviews are there. I review about 70 movies a year, so there's tons of stuff there. So thanks for supporting IAYTD and we'll see you next time. I'm about to get naked. So no bacon. I said no bacon.